In this video, I am going to discuss cascading style sheets, that is CSS, right? So let's see how to use CSS in web page development, right? So actually, uh, CSS means uh, CSS stands for cascading style sheets, and CSS is a style sheet language, and uh, CSS describes the style of the HTML documents. In other words, we call a presentation or the format of the HTML document. That means how HTML element should be displayed, right? So actually, CSS can be used to a separate format of the HTML document from its content, right? So by using CSS, we can separate the presentation or the format of the HTML document from the HTML content or web page content right so uh, we can use style sheets in html documents in uh, three ways right so first one is inline css right so in inline css we use style attribute in html elements right then the second way or the second method is internal css right so in the internal css we use the style element in html Head section and then uh, the third method is external CSS right so in external CSS we can use one or more external CSS files and then we can create a relationship in uh, with the HTML documents right so we can create a, a, a relationship between CSS file and HTML web page using a uh, relationship uh, uh, attributes right so let's see how to do that right uh, first one is inline style sheets right so in inline styling so is used to apply a unique style to single HTML elements right so in inline styling we use the style attribute right so for example so if you want to change the uh, say color of the level one heading to blue color Right, so this is how we do this. Right, so inside the H1 element, there is a uh, attribute called style. So in the style attribute, we can set uh, a color of the font. Right, so by using color colon then the value. Right, and then we can have a content of the level one heading, and we can close the level one. Right, so this is the example, right? So let's see how to do that in our, our, our web page, right? So I have already created this uh, uh, uop1.html web page, right? So this is the web page, right? So in here I have, uh, actually I'll open the source code, click open it, right? So this is the relevant source code, right? So you, now you know this, right? So this is the root element. Right, so at the beginning you can uh, uh, define the doc type that as well. Right, so HTML root element, and then close it. Down. All right, so at the beginning, if you want, you can. Uh, it's better to use that doc type HTML document. Right, so in header section, I have a title called UOP. In body section, I have level one heading, and it's use doc paradigm, and the paragraph, and then level two headings location and then the relevant paragraph and another level to meaning call faculties and the paragraph right so this is the web page now what i want to do i want to change the color of level one heading right so here there's attribute called style all right so inside the style attribute we can set the value right so in css in css so there is a uh, a way to uh, set the value that is the, the name of the attribute now the name of the attribute is color and then the value is assigned by using the colon symbol colon and then say blue All right then i set the attribute color and then set the value so this is css right this is css but this is html in html we set the value by using double quotation attribute name then double quotation we can set the value right okay so within the double quotation we can write the css in css here we define the attribute 
envelope. So here we have to put the colon. Then I save this and refresh. Now you can see, right? So the the color of the level one heading changed to blue, right? So so you can use the same with that thing here also, right? So here we can set the color, right? The color is say uh, red. Or you can use the uh, uh, hexadecimal values, right? So here style and then the color, color colon save it save this and then refresh okay right now we know how to use css in inline css right so here the inline css right so that's how uh, this is how we use the inline css all right okay and then next one is internal styling what we call internal css all right so this is used to define style for one html page all right so uh, in header section there is a element called style we can use that style element to define internal css all right so so this is how we create that all right so inside the header section there is a uh, element called style so with inside the style element right so we can define css right so if you want to change the color of level one heading then you can put the level one heading or h1 and you can uh, open the curly bracket and then we can write the css you know how to write css right the attribute name colon the value so in here we change the body the background color right so background color relevant to the body tag then inside the body tag we can say background dash color so this is the attribute for background color background dash color and then the value right so so this is used to change the paragraph color right then the, the, the color of the uh, or, or text of the paragraph right so here tag is p then here we change the background color, uh, font color of the paragraph by using p the curl bracket and then the value right so i'll take the same uh, uh, the page right same the page and then i save this one as a uop dash underscore two dot html right so then i remove the internal css right so now this is my web page right so this here i remove the internal css and save this so this is uh, uh yeah this one right then i insert the style element in header section right opening style tag and then crossing style tag style right so now i apply the uh, i insert the css right so now what, what i want to do i want to change the color of level one here say h1 and then i put curly bracket all right so inside the curly bracket i can set the value all right so here i say color colon blue all right then so all the level one headings which are in body section apply this uh, formatting right that means the color of level one heading right change to blue all right so like this so uh, so this is the point right so if you want to set the color in h2 level or the level 2 heading right so previously we have to set color in here and then here so that means we can apply for one element at a time but in internal css if you say h2 that h2 means all the level 2 headings in both section right so in here i said the color is say red then i save this then it is applicable to all the level two headings all the level two headings in body part all right so at the same time in here we can change the background color all right so background color is uh, applicable to the body tag right so so this is the uh, uh, attribute in css to change the background color background say color so let's say colon say in here I say light red, All right? And save this. Now background color is changed. So if you want to change this for a paragraph, the, the, the color of the paragraph, 
like joining the uh, uh, text of the paragraph into say green then I change the paragraph color P and then within the color bracket I can set the say color tab. so if you say color of the paragraph it's font color then I can say green then that is applicable for all the paragraphs this one this one and this one three paragraphs in our web page right you know this is very easy method right so this is internal CSS this is called internal CSS right so this is very easy all right so here we have a style element in header section so inside the header section we can define these things right so uh, one more thing right one more thing that is in here so assume in here if you want to add two attribute if you want to change uh, two attribute that means here i change the font color here i change the font color here i change the background color so if you want to change the background of level one area then how can we do that then if you want to change the background color the attribute is background dash color but in here we have like two attributes then we have to uh, uh, what you call separate two attributes by semicolon yes semicolon right so here one attribute attribute is color and the value is blue and then put semicolon then i can say background color background dash color then we can set the background color I put colon let's say yellow Right, so it will be change the background color of level one edit. So we can use the same method for the background color of the level two edit. Here we can put semicolon and then say background dash color, background dash color, colon yellow. Right, so this would be applicable to all the level two headings. Right, so likewise we can add more than one attributes right so you can change more than one attributes in a uh, style elements right style within inside the style tag right okay so this is internal styling or internal css and then next one is external css that means we can have a external style sheet you uh, uh to define styles for many pages all right so this is with an external style sheet so that is presentation of the web page can be separated from its content all right so we can create a relationship between external css file and the html document in header section right so let's see how can we do that inside the header section uh, there's a type called link link you know a link means the uh, relationship or the uh, uh, relationship between two documents all right so here we can create the link between style sheet and the html document so here link is a style sheet relationship and then we can have a, a reference all right so i use the same file here here so i save this one as uh, say uop3.html right so i close this right now what can i do i can take this entire formatting part or entire css section right so like this so this is the css part right so this is the css part and then i cut this and then take new uh, say just i save this so, right and then i take new Word do, uh, notepad document and paste it here now this is my uh, style sheet right so this is my style sheet no need to put that style element because uh, now i am going to save this one as uh, inside css folder say there is a uop 3.css right so this is the file extension that is css because in here uh, this file contain formatting of uop 3 not html file so therefore i use the same with name with the css extension right so you can use any name right so so this is css file so therefore no need to put that css element right then what i have to do 
find what I have to do. Inside the uop3.html file, we have to create the relationship. We have to create the link. All right. So inside the header section, inside the header section, there is a tag called link. Link. And then uh, there is a relationship. Relationship is style sheet. Style sheet. And then the location reference chef. So here CSS file is in the same folder, or you can have another folder, and then you can set a, a relative bar. Here our, our file is UOP 3.css and save this. Right? Okay. Now this how we create the a link between CSS file and HTML file. Okay. Okay, then not why I'm going to open this file, right? So here, so this is the CSS file. Okay, now you can see uh, this CSS is applied to our UOP3.html web page, right? Here, so this is my source code, right? This is my source code, so this is the web page, right? This is web page, so this is source code, right? So inside the source code, Right, so we don't have inline CSS or internal CSS in here. We have external CSS. Right, so this should be easy. That means uh, you can use same CSS files in different web pages. All right, so you can use the same CSS file in different web pages. Right. Okay, I think you got the idea. So you can practice these things, and then if you have any problem regarding this, you can ask uh, from myself via messages. Okay, thank you very much.